what is up guys today we're back and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie some basic knots that you can use for fishing and but before we get into the video uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys have been enjoying these videos and you can see more videos to come if you click the notification bell as well so I'm going to start off showing you guys how to tie a knot called the loop to loop connection now see I have this this is a factory made loop here actually like connected to the reel still all right and this is going to represent our leader but I'm actually using fly line just so you guys can see this better so this knot is used for tying leader to fly line but you can also use it to tie tippet to leader if you don't know how to do a double surgeon's knot but I'm going to teach you how to do that also so what you're going to want to do is take the end that is connected to your reel here and put that through the loop of the leader just like that All right. now take the tip of the leader which is the yellow line and put it through the loop of the line connected to the reel then pull it through and they'll start coming together like this let that focus there and here hold up one second you might have to fiddle with this little knot here to get that through there it goes and watch this guys it's just gonna pull like that tighten down and that's a really strong knot now I recommend if you're doing a uh, a leader to um, your fly line you can put like a really thick depending on what you're fishing for you can put a really thick base like for this loop to loop connection this leader could be like 15 or 20 pound line just so you have a strong foundation for the rest of your leader alright now I'm going to show you how to take this part actually so you're going to want to push the leader just like this towards the loop and it will start coming together or start coming apart I mean and then you push that knot back through the hole pull it through pull all the line through the loop then it'll just slide off right off like that alright now for this second knot I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie a double surgeon's knot which is mainly used for um tying tippet to leader and if you guys don't know what tippet is <clears throat> excuse me tippet is just a kind of a cheap leader so you can connect it to your flies instead of your leader and it will last you longer alright so let's say this is our leader this is our tippet all we're going to do just overlap them like that. You see that there? There you go. Now, all you have to do is just push them together and then, like, join your thumb over it just like that so you can pinch it and you want to have two loops. Alright. Pull that here so I don't lose it. Alright, now, you're going to want to take this this end right here which is the leader <clears throat> and just push it through, put it through there once twice all right then you can switch thumbs and that's why it's called a double surgeon's knot because you take it through there twice but there's also a triple surgeon's knot but I just use the double surgeons more often. So here we go. Alright, now your tip it in. Go through once. Make sure you're going through both of the loops, guys, too. Go through twice. Alright, there we go. Now you grab all four ends. Like that. Then all you have to do is trim your little tag ends. Like 
like that, and there you go. It'll be a much smaller knot with if you're not using fly line. That's why that's why we like to use it instead of a loop to loop connection on your on your leader to tip it because it's a smaller knot. But it doesn't look very small here, but it is, trust me. And there is actually no way to remove this without cutting in line. So you would have to cut your line, of course, for that one. Alright, but Okay, we're going to have to sniff this here. Next, I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie a improved clinch knot, which is used to tie your tippet or your leader to your hook. Now, first of all, you're going to have to put your line into the eye of the hook, of course. Then, loop it back and of course guys just imagine that this is all the way connected to the reel but I'm just using little bits of line but all right Hold on here let me just get a piece of I'm just gonna use this leader actually guys and it'll work just the same for you <clears throat> all right so thread the eye like that and loop it back and pinch like that so you have a little loop. Alright, then wrap your hook, say about five or six times. Alright, and you should have this little tiny loop right in front of your eye, right there. And where you still have this pinched up here, you want to take that put it through that loop just like that and then what I do is I grab it and pinch it against my fly so I won't lose it and then just pull all this and you can uh, wet it with saliva to help it go better too and watch this here guys I'm losing my grip, sorry. They all just come down together like that. goes all right and then ideally you want your tag end to be directly perpendicular and that's about perfect right there guys so of course you just trim that then you have a little knot fish can hardly see it and it's very strong guys and it's actually a really good knot all right if you enjoyed the video guys make sure to drop a like and click that red subscribe button for more videos and if you want to see uh, any particular videos just make sure to comment them down below and follow me on instagram at underscore extreme outdoors underscore guys and we'll see you guys later